Seven away from eight. Uh, looks like 3D, as in the movies, uh, might be back. James Cameron's Avatar 2, The Way of Water, which is out in December, will bring back the 3D experience, which, um, of course, dropped off a cliff back in 2013, 2014. So is this a thing? I mean, have we been missing 3D? Are we craving 3D? Award-winning director and producer Andrew Felby is, uh, Aaron Felby, rather, is um, with us. Aaron, morning to you. Good morning. Uh, the tech around 3D, has that changed much? Excuse my ignorance around tech, but, I mean, is it easier to do these days? Are we? Has it changed dramatically or not really? Well, it's an interesting question. I've never been involved with it, but from my understanding and doing the reading, it sounds like you know James Cameron's taken his time to really get it right before trying and doing it again. So, yeah, from what I understand, there's a, a lot higher resolution, um, a lot higher frame rate, and um, I think his end goal is to try and do it without glasses, but... I don't think we'll be seeing it in this um, this round of films. I can't remember what it was, but I saw something in 3D once, and I was super unimpressed. I thought, you know, if this is as good as it gets, don't worry about it. I don't need this. What's your view? Um, I'm kind of in the same boat. I, I do have some pretty poor memories. Uh, I do recall, you know, like even in back in the 90s and that, there was like they did King Kong or... Jaws or something like yeah. that, and you had to buy your glasses from you know KFC, and That's right. and now we ha- yeah, and then they did it back in what 2010. Avatar kind of kicked things off, and um, it really is a gimmick as far as I'm concerned. But I don't think we should write it off until we've we've given this first one a look. I've been looking at a, a few comments on people that have reviewed footage of the new Avatar, and apparently it is very very impressive. But is Avatar impressive because it's Avatar, or is it impressive because it's 3D? Well, I would like to say it's impressive because it's Avatar and it's James Cameron and, you know, he's a fantastic storyteller. So I think um, what he's trying to do is really make it more immersive for people as opposed to, you know, like it's more than just a story. It's the, It's been immersed in their world. Yeah. And I think, you know, there, there are elements of that that, um, that certainly do work. You know, like I remember from the first one, there was a lot of like floating elements that would be floating around in the foreground in the forest. And um, that would show off. And I think that's kind of how it works. You know, it just it kind of helps with some elements. But, you know, you're not going to see people jumping out of the screen at you. And no. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get rid of the glasses, though, too, because no one likes to look like a dick in the movie theatre, do they? I mean, let's be well, honest. Yeah, well, that's right. Like, I, when I was watching movies back when they first came out, they, I didn't wear glasses. But now I wear prescription glasses, so I don't know how that's going to work because I need them to be able to view. So... I would imagine that for a lot of people that wear glasses already, that would be quite frustrating having to put something else on over top. I reckon. Aaron, good good insight. Appreciate it very much. Aaron Felby, who's an award-winning director and producer.